A few weeks ago, I grabbed a few friends and headed to Orbix Hot Glass in Mentone, Alabama. While I was there, I met a couple, Adam and Jennifer Dassinger. Turns out, Adam is a huge hiker. I'm talking everyday hiker. And he happens to live in the adorable small town of Heflin, Alabama. Home to the Heflin Spur on the Pinhoti Trail in the Talladega National Forest. After just a few minutes chatting with him, I knew he loved hiking as much as I do. Our conversation led to an invite to visit during the Pinhoti 100 Ultra Trail Race the first weekend in November, which also happened to be peak season for fall color. Thanks for joining me today. Here's my incredible visit and itinerary for discovering the tracks and trails of Heflin. You'll see why they say, I heart Heflin. I grew up in a small town in northern New York and am a daughter of a mega runner. So when Adam asked if we would like to help out with aid station number two for the Pinhoti trail race, of course we said yes. We got to meet the whole Heflin crew. Chad with the Chamber of Commerce, Robbie, the newly elected mayor, Tammy, director of Parks and Recreation, and Linwood from the Talladega National Forest. Good job, way to go. Good job, good job, good job. We truly enjoyed helping out at the aid station and working with everyone. Yeah, you might recognize my sidekick, Lisa. We brought the guys on this road trip for a weekend away in the woods. Airbnb was delightful. A secluded cabin in the woods, this house was perfect for our weekend getaway. It sleeps 10, has a full kitchen and dishwasher, washer and dryer, and it's excellent for hiking or outdoor rec weekend. Tell Lauren we sent you. Also, I'm sorry for the dark pictures, but we arrived at night and we're ready to crash. I was able to capture this train at the Pinhoti Trailhead. Check out the Sam Track link for more destination travel. After the aid station closed up, we put on some hiking boots and hit the spur. Adam was ready to introduce us to the Pinhoti Trail. We were joined by Tammy and Rick Cranford. Rick is a Pinhoti Trail expert. We were in awe. This is Rick Cranford, everybody. Hey, Rick. Three and a half miles all the way to City Hall is the other one where y'all were yeah. at earlier. Of the three and a half miles, two and a half of it is either in the woods or at the city park there. Okay. So there's only the last mile is the road walk. What we're going to do today, though, to, just to, I don't know, it's going to be lunchtime, it's going to be soon and everything. Um, a mile into it, there's a waterfall, um, and we'll go there, and then we'll just turn around and come back here instead of going all the way to Cahoga. <music>
After our first hike, we made a stop at High Country Cellars. We met owner vintner Keith Roberts. They have a massive variety of tasty libations. Tastings are just a dollar each with a five tasting limit. Bottles of wine are just under $14. Definitely have to try the Skeeter Pete. did a little shopping at Trends Boutique on Main and met lovely ladies Brittany and Margaret Cobb and Brianna Angel. This wonderful store has an unbelievable selection of women's clothes, gifts, and accessories. Sunday morning, we woke up to do a few more trails with Adam. Here we go, into the woods. So we're here with Adam, and we're on our first trail, which is? Going to Sweet Birch Canyon. Okay. And this is, let me say, this is north of Coleman Lake, if you've ever heard of Coleman Lake. Yes. It's a popular recreation area. Okay. Just a few miles away. All right, excellent. Well, let's giddy up. I, well, you called it. We are on the Calhoun Overlook part of the Pinhoti Trail that was part of the Pinhoti 100 yesterday where over 230 uh, runners did, trail runners did this trail and it's so pretty. Very cool. damage it parallels this real close and ultimately it got cross it again to me it's easier and again that storm damage may change that <laughs> we're going to be paralleling within 50 feet for about another half mile four tenths of a mile so we're going to take the road that's okay. what i know i normally don't go that way okay. Okay. i'm going to get to the waterfall quickly Sean? Cold? No. 
We had such a great weekend in Heflin. I can't wait to return to discover more trails. Check out more info and details as I share in an upcoming vlog, Hiking in Heflin. Hi, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I have much more content on my website, travelwithwendy.net, and you can also support this channel by becoming a Patreon patron. The links are below. Remember, it's always an adventure when you travel with Wendy.